the start of their typical work day, a trip to the gym in College Park. But the early morning start, combined with a string of recent robberies, has some local women fearing for their safety. Brett Connolly is here now with more on how they're working with police to stay safe. Jim and Martha, police telling us they've met with about 15 different business owners in College Park to share tips on how to keep the neighborhood safe. And today we met with a group of women that learned helpful ways to avoid being the next victim. The three times I got robbed were all really my own fault, sadly, because it was unlocked. Um, everything got stolen out of it. My car door had probably just been unlatched. You couldn't really see it. And the glove box was open, and I hadn't been in or out of it, so somebody else had. Taking advantage of a lunch and learn session at their gym, College Park women share experiences as victims of crime, bounce ideas off one another, and soak in advice from law enforcement. He gave a lot of good advice. You've got to take some ultra proactive. You've got to look around. You've got to be aware of the scenario. You've got to get off your phone. It's easy to be in your own little world or looking at your phone, like he said, um, and not paying attention to what's happening. Police are urging College Park residents to stay on alert following a string of robberies in recent weeks. Authorities released surveillance video of a man stealing cash from a CVS on Easter Sunday. And just two days before the pharmacy was hit, a robbery at a Dunkin' Donuts led to lockdowns at several schools. Investigators believe the same person is responsible for both. The stores are just blocks away from the gym these women frequent. It does worry me, and so, you know, if there's steps that I can take to just be smarter and safer, then I definitely want to do those things. That's your most powerful weapon. Think, be aware, and, and stay alert. Keep your head on a swivel. Communicate. Believe what you see. If you feel something is wrong, it probably is. Orlando police offering free women's self defense classes at a number of community centers this summer, and you can sign up for those up on their website. Martha? Brett, thank you.